Hey there everyone, this is Jill and Lisa here. We are doing a little video here. Lisa and I are spending the day together and if you remember Lisa, we've done a few episodes on the Pickle Jar podcast with Lisa. She shared her her journey with us with adrenal insufficiency and she's done some follow-up episodes as well with us. Uh, she did an episode giving us some tips and advice of things that she had learned on her journey so far. And I recently did a little update on Lisa saying that she's having the best summer she's had in quite some time and that's just absolutely amazing to hear and so inspiring so Lisa and I have been virtual friends and we just met in person last month and we've gotten together today for a little adventure today and we're doing a short little short little video to share with you guys some of the things that we had to do to prepare for just a few hours together um, so what we've done today is we did we just finished a five kilometer rafting down the Grand River we are in Brantford Ontario um, but we had to do quite a few things together to make sure that first of all we enjoyed our day which is top priority and also to, to make sure that we're safe because we know safety with adrenal insufficiency is something that we always need to think of. So um, Lisa and I were supposed to get together a few weeks ago and unfortunately I had to cancel because I was having a low cortisol day. The weather was really hot and humid here in southern Ontario and I knew being smart with my Addison's disease I had to be personally responsible and I had to cancel last minute so that um, I didn't run into any more issues like that so Lisa of course was very understanding with that and but we are together today for a beautiful day so Lisa let me start with you why don't you share with us some of the things that you did today to prepare for a safe journey together all right thank you Joe um, so we did have a great day or so far anyway <laughs> and uh, one of the things I did was to kind of keep a, keep my mind flexible about the plans because the weather or either one of us having a low cortisol day could have changed um, how the day went. So um, just knowing that having plans are not uh, for, for sure, for sure, uh, when you're dealing with two people with Addison's. Um, the other thing was I, I planned uh, kind of a rest day yesterday. Um, I mentioned to Jill earlier, it's like plans are never just for one day. You have to plan to prepare, plan for the event, and then plan your recovery. Uh, I packed lots of drinks and uh, salty lunch. I got my emergency kit that we brought with us on the raft. And uh, I also mentioned to Jill earlier, I felt so much safer being with her because I know that she knows how to use my emergency kit and wouldn't hesitate if there was any, any kind of emergency. No, oh, exactly. And I did very similar things. Like Lisa said, we always have to think, I always think forward and backwards. So I'm thinking, you know, what have I been through? How's my body feeling? Um, I think Lisa and I both updosed before coming okay. today. We yeah. both took a little bit extra. And that was, you know, when Lisa <laughs> and I got together last month for the first time, we just yeah. went for a little hike. And by the end of the hike, I wasn't feeling well. And she was like, oh, silly. Like, you should have updosed before you came. So, you know, as hard as we try we still make mistakes and we need those reminders so i was smarter today and that's you know one thing i want to encourage all, all of you is just remember we just got to get smarter every time we do something it's it's getting back to life and it's listening to our body and and learning from each adventure that we go on and i want to call them adventures because it should be fun life is full of adventures and that's what lisa and i are doing today and um but as long as we prepare properly we can get through those and it might just be taking small gentle steps you know things that are in your comfort zone like i felt very like lisa said we felt very comfortable coming today because we were together um and i know that's going to be challenging for a lot of people with adrenal insufficiency because you don't have you know somebody close by to kind of hang out like like lisa and i are doing today but maybe there's an advocate or somebody that you can spend some time with that is in that comfort zone and use them to take that step there's a great podcast that my friend um Oh man, I'm, oh my goodness, Leslie did, about lantern bearers. I want you to go back and listen to that. It's a great episode where she, she really describes that, you know, we have these people in our lives and they all have specific roles and, and you want to find what role, what lantern do they carry for you? And when you, we can find those people that have roles for us, we can use them as best as we can in our lives. And those people with those roles, they want those roles. That's what they're naturally good at and you know find that person and go on your little adventures and be prepared we had 
you know, we had things in waterproof containers. We had our salty drinks. We had food with us. We had, we had whistles. We had whistles. If I had to whistle for help, I was whistling for help for Leslie. We, we, we were ready pretty much for any situation that we can do. And, and like, Les, or I just call you Leslie. Cause I was called, Lisa, Lisa. Um, you know, and now we have to think about our recovery time. And that's very, very important. And if you don't have adrenal insufficiency, but somebody in your life has adrenal insufficiency, you need to acknowledge the effort that they go through to prepare for something like this. And, you know, usually when Lisa and I cancel plans, we're not canceling because we want to. We're canceling because we have to. And, you know, we understand that it's frustrating for the people in our lives and it might be disappointing. And we, we feel like we're letting people down and we're also letting ourselves down and it's an emotional roller coaster for us so it's very important that we have that support from the people in our lives but lisa and i have had an amazing day um we've had a wonderful conversation and shared our journey with adrenal insufficiency and it's just been so great to connect and to have i think our stories validated do you agree with that lisa yeah oh ab absolutely absolutely it's made such a huge difference <laughs> getting to know you through the podcast and in person just i i, I no words joe <laughs> we we've had some good chuckles today let me tell you about about living with with addison's disease so um but yeah so we just want to do this this little um short little video and and clip on the podcast just to um hopefully you know encourage you guys to get out and get living um but all i can say is just take those baby steps you need to be comfortable lisa and i talked a lot today about how anxiety plays a big part in our cortisol levels. And if you're anxious about going out into a social environment and doing something, that's completely natural and that's part of this journey. So love yourself enough to take those baby steps. Take those little steps. Maybe it's just a trip to the grocery store. It doesn't have to be a big barbecue or, you know, an amusement park or something <laughs> like that. Just take a little tiny step because once you get the, the encouragement that you were okay the first time, you can take a bigger step the next time. So that's why Lisa and I are here today. So Lisa, thank you so much for floating down the Grand River with me. It was a wonderful day and I can't wait for more adventures with you. Awesome, me too. Thank you so much. All right, thank you for listening and until next time, please be well.